Evan Gershkovich was thrilled every time Russia won a match in the 2018 World Cup. In his student days, he was quite the footballer himself. Now he's a much admired journalist who's made his name with the Wall Street Journal in Russia. Nothing that might even be taken as a sign of dissent is allowed in Russia right now. He's a fantastic reporter. He's a real reporter's reporter who likes to be out there uh, in the field talking to people, talking to sources. He felt it was incredibly important to be on the ground in Russia, telling the Russian story, listening to Russian people and uh, presenting the Russian point of view. His arrest last Thursday came as a shock because he's an accredited journalist. Gershkovich is being detained at the notorious Lefortovo prison on the outskirts of Moscow. It's housed political prisoners, including Alexander Solzhenitsyn. Those held are often kept in solitary confinement to isolate them and try to break their will. Yesterday, the US Secretary of State suggested that he would soon be formally designated as wrongfully detained, enabling them to start negotiating with the Russians for his release. In my own mind, there's no doubt that he's being wrongfully detained uh, by Russia, which is exactly what I said to Foreign Minister Lavrov when I spoke to him uh, over the weekend and uh, insisted that uh, Evan be released immediately. The Wall Street Journal say Evan Gershkovich is being held hostage, dismissing the Russian allegation that he's a spy. It's ludicrous. I mean, Evan is a journalist, uh, an extraordinary journalist, probably one of the top American journalists of his generation. And it's just outrageous that while doing his job and simply reporting, he was arrested. Paul Whelan, a former Marine and dual US-UK citizen, is still being held in a Russian prison after four years. The US basketball star Brittany Griner was held for nearly 10 months before being swapped for the Russian arms dealer Victor Boot. A consultant for Ms. Griner's family and other victims of state hostage-taking says Evan Gershkovich will most likely also be swapped, eventually. We have a long list of Russians in United States custody um, that range from white-collar criminals to criminals we could never possibly release. So, yes, I think this will end in a prisoner swap. That's just my best guess because that's what's happened so far. Um, and yes, we do have plenty of Russians available for trade if the U.S. government and the Russian government come to terms. Amongst those in the frame is Sergei Cherkasov, currently imprisoned in Brazil, whom the U.S. charged with acting as an agent of Russian intelligence in America just five days before Gershkovich was arrested. Evan Gershkovich has been remanded in custody in Lefortovo for two months. The Wall Street Journal appeal will be heard on April the 18th. But in the end, this is less about the law and more about geopolitics. His lawyer says he's in good health and good spirits. But how long will he have to wait for complex and delicate diplomacy to do its work?